I'm mildly pleased with myself. Cautiously. Nobody likes a smart aleck. If they turn out wrong. Let me tell you why. I've found the uh, graph, frequency graph, for the Icon Pro. When I was doing the review, I couldn't find one. And I think I said in the review that I sensed a kind of uh, something a little bit in the, the top end. A little. Well, I've found the graph. And... Uh, It's very, very slight, so I'm cautious because am I fooling myself? Did I really hear that? It looks so uh, small, the increased sensitivity, and there's something else as well. Uh, so I thought, let's see if we can look at this empirically. And I have my trusty Bayer M88. I put the two graphs together and I'll we'll have a look and then see if we can hear what the graphs appear to show. Now, if you look at the uh, Icon Pro at the top, I mean, it's really flat, isn't it? But I do notice round about 5K, about the presence band, that it goes just ever so slightly above. And then a little bit above uh, 10, it drops off just a little and then restores. Looking at round about 1 kilohertz, there's a very slight uh, reduction there in the line, can you see? So what I'm thinking is that what I can hear then is that it leaves that area around about the 5K just a little bit more exposed. Bear in mind it's also a very fast microphone so there's going to be detail in there and sometimes you can confuse detail with uh, accentuation and looking at the low end at a hundred hertz just above it starts to drop off oh dear however if you look at the two traces uh, one's five inches and one's 12 inches and it doesn't uh, show a proximity trace when you get closer if you compare it with the Biodynamic M88 below, wow. Well, it is reasonably smooth, and again, it's got from it's got a quite a plateau at the top there that's accentuated, and then the middle's quite flat, and you have control over that middle, um, as you can see from the proximity trace. So again, looking at a hundred hertz at one meter it's doing much the same as the earthworks at um 12 inches really no looking at the db on the side but of course if you get closer then it comes up and if you get really close it really comes up so you've had a good look at that and let's compare the two sonically and see if it can make any sense of the graphs Well, what I noticed about the Icon Pro then, if if that is what I can hear, I mean, it's very, very slight, is if I go, ah, 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 so it's not that part of my voice, that's the note I'm singing, but all those um, harmonics you can hear, that edgy part, that there, I think, I haven't got a meter. I'm guessing it corresponds to that slight lift. So that uh, comes through very clearly. The biodynamic has got some of that as well. Let's go straight to it. And this is the M88. But immediately I said this. All that stuff at the top, that wide plateau high up, you can hear. It's very commendable that it's got that uh, kind of frequency response. And I can also hear a little bit of looming, just waiting for me to bring the thing a bit closer, as you can hear. So now you can hear that proximity. Let's bring it into, well, let's just take it all the way. Closer still, closer still, closer still. And you can hear what's happening there. Move it away to about this distance, and you can hear what's happening. Tend to get a t -t -t 
that tends to be left a little more exposed because the, the low end is gone, even though it's still there. Back on the Icon Pro. Now I'm on the Icon Pro. If I get closer to the Icon Pro, 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 right up against the Icon Pro, and the bottom end does fill in there, as you can hear. I thought also then, let's see if I can... Uh, what if I take... Uh, I haven't got the right frequency here, so I'm going to take a little bit of top and a little bit of mid. The top's 12k, the mid is 2. Well, really, we're looking for something around about 5 or 6. So I'm going to take them both off just a little. Both of them are off just a little. Both are off just a little. I'll do the same thing on the buyer. This is just kind of guessing, doing my best. Now I'm on the M88 with both off. I'm going to put them both flat for the M88. They're both flat on the M88. Both flat, just going to roll them off a little. Treble first, taking the top end off the M88 a little. Taking the top end off the M88 a little. And taking some of the lower of that mid-range out there just a bit. So that's the M88 with just a little bit of the top and the mid rolled off. And this is the Icon Pro with a bit of the top and the mid rolled off. I think they're kind of nearer each other. The Icon Pro has got more detail to my ears, nonetheless in that area there.